so I have a pretty amazing clip to show you of Rachel Maddow on The View yesterday just completely destroying Donald Trump and his 2024 presidential campaign. So essentially, Maddow joined The View to talk about all things related to the 2024 election, President Biden's campaign, Donald Trump's campaign, what Biden would do if he wins, what Donald Trump would do if he wins. Knock on wood, God forbid. Please don't let that happen. Um, And they focused on Donald Trump's campaign for just a moment, and Rachel Maddow just obliterated him, not by attacking Donald Trump, not by insulting him, not dipping into the Republican playbook, but instead just perfectly laying out what a second Trump term would look like. And essentially, that's complete and total control for Donald Trump, dictatorship, authoritarianism, where Donald Trump uh, controls everything, what he says goes, and everybody is a yes man. They just listen to every word he says, and they do whatever he says. It's really well said by Rachel Maddow. So I'm going to show you this clip. We'll talk about it a little bit. But yeah, not good stuff. Pretty scary stuff. So take a look at the clip. So here's the thing. When Donald Trump won the election in 2016, fair and square, he said it was rigged. Right. He won the re- Republican primaries. He said they were rigged. He ran for re-election in 2020. Before the election, he said it was rigged. Mm-hmm. Then when he lost the election, he said it was rigged. <laughs> he does not like elections. He does not like voting as a system by which we decide who's going to be the president. Yeah, right. When he was running for re-election in 2020, the Republican Party decided they were no longer going to have a platform. They abolished their platform and said, our new platform is whatever Donald Trump wants, we're for that. That's right. So if you don't stand for anything other than what he wants, you don't vote you just put him in power. And once he's there, nobody is allowed to disagree with him or say anything that he doesn't believe. And what is that called? That is what a lot of other countries all around the world have, and it is not democracy. And so he's trying to get rid of the American system of government, and that means getting rid of a government that does anything other than serve him, and that's what Project 2025 is all about. And that exists everywhere in the world, and it has never existed here before. And so... I really think the bottom line here is that Trump and his movement, they are not running against Democrats. They're running against democracy. They're running against the democratic process. They want to radically change the kind of system that we have, the government that we have. And we're alive as American citizens in that time, and we're going to be the ones who decide if the American system of government survives or if it's taken over instead by a strongman authoritarian form. Yeah, really, really well said by Rachel Maddow, just kind of perfectly laid out. And there's so much to discuss here, but I really loved her point on Donald Trump just not liking elections, right? He just doesn't like them. He doesn't like the system of elections we have here. He doesn't like democracy. And I mean it, every single election that Donald Trump has been involved in, he said it was rigged. Every single one. In 2016, he claimed the Iowa caucus, the Republican Iowa caucus, was rigged against him, that Ted Cruz didn't actually win and that he won and there was some funny business going on. He also claimed that the popular vote Hillary Clinton won in 2016 was also not true. It was rigged. It was unfair and that he actually won the popular vote. They're just undercounting the amount of votes he won. So he won the election, still claimed it was rigged. Then in 2016, before the election even began, he was questioning the results. He was saying, I'll only accept them if I win. Well, if there's a fair election, we'll talk about it. Things like that, right? Already laying the foundation and the groundwork to challenge the elections. Then he lost. And we all know what happened. Very much so challenged the elections in court, And then sending fake electors, pressuring legislators, all that stuff. And now in 2024, he's already doing the same thing. He's already saying that they're going to try something, that it's not going to be fair, that it's this or that, or that Biden's controlling the Department of Justice, all of this nonsense. The point is, Donald Trump just doesn't like elections. He doesn't like democracy. This whole thing we have going on here, not a fan, not a fan. And what Rachel Maddow was describing there is a dictatorship. (laughs) Trump and his allies, his buddies, want a dictatorship. They want it to be the whole government, the entire executive, to be controlled by Donald Trump. And you don't have to take my word for it. Donald Trump himself said he wants to be a dictator. He said, I want to be a dictator on day one. And, you know, the point on yes men that Rachel Maddow made, just a bunch of yes men, as we talked about, is, is not fantasy. It's not speculation. It's actually happening. And it's kind of hard to fathom that this is being done by a presidential candidate. But we are in incredibly unique times and we are dealing with an incredibly and uniquely dangerous person in Donald Trump. So take a look on your screen right now. This is what they're doing behind the scenes. Uh, Already, Trump allies are pre-screening loyalists for an unprecedented power grab. 
And this is from Axios. And it says hundreds of people are spending tens of millions of dollars to install a pre-vetted pro-Trump army of up to 54,000 loyalists across go- across the government to rip off the restraints imposed on the previous 46 presidents. The screening for ready-to-serve loyalists has already begun, driven in part by artificial intelligence, and social media histories are already being looked through to make sure that everybody that they're screening has been loyal. And that means, and this is really important, that means that our most important agencies that we have in the United States, the FBI, the Department of Justice, the Department of Homeland Security, the EPA, FEMA, all these agencies— would not be controlled and run by people who are competent, by people who know what they're doing, by people who know the law. They'd be run by people whose only requirement for the job, the only requirement, the only test they have to pass is whether they agree with Donald Trump, whether they're MAGA. So, you know, this is the vision they're going to. This is the, the, the road they're driving down where everybody in the government, no matter who you are, no matter what position you are in, is just loyal to Donald Trump. Trump says... Yeah, you know what? Prosecute that person. The attorney general says yes. The Department of Homeland Security. Donald Trump says, you know what? I think that person's a threat. Shut down the border. They nod. The environment. Environment. Donald Trump says, you know what? This river is a little too clean. Let's pollute it some more. The EPA says, go ahead. Right? This is the vision for Trump's America. It's no joke. It's no joke. It's actually happening. And look, one of the biggest points here is that Donald Trump doesn't want our voices to be heard. Right? He doesn't want you and your voice and your family and your friends and loved ones, any of you, to have your voice heard in an election. We know this already. We've seen his past. We just talked about Donald Trump not wanting this to be the case so he can get in there and have all these loyalists. But this is also not fiction. This is real life. They're already planning to challenge the 2024 presidential election, if you can even believe it. Roger Stone, Donald Trump's ally, in uh, you know, formerly worked with him, has been his buddy for a long time was caught on a audio, a secret audio recently, uh, talking about their plans that already exist to challenge the 2024 election results. The election hasn't even happened. It hasn't even happened. Hasn't taken place yet. Not a single vote in the general election has been cast yet. And the Republicans are already hiring lawyers, putting together teams to challenge results. Roger Stone says that they have a judge's phone number, a home phone number for a judge if they get a result they don't like or someone to pressure. The Republicans and Donald Trump are going all out in their attack on democracy, the attack on our voices and our ability to step in that ballot booth and make our voices heard and vote for our desired candidate. And we, the people, are once again going to have to step up to the plate and make sure that these lunatics don't get into office. And Rachel Maddow talked about that and the fact that he wants a dictatorship and their plans with Project 2025, Agenda 47, all of this stuff. But it's happening. It's very real and it's very scary. So it's something to keep in mind. It's something to be aware of um, as we go into the 2024 presidential election. So really well said by Maddow. I'm so thankful that she and so many other amazing journalists are bringing attention to this stuff. But let's go make it happen. Let's make sure that Donald Trump doesn't get into office, ladies, gents, boys, and girls, and everybody in between. So I'll leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me. Make sure to subscribe down below. It's also on your screen somewhere. It really goes such a long way. We're creeping up on 50,000 subscribers. It would mean a lot. Also, drop a like on the video and comment. Let me know what you think about all this. I'm interested to hear from you. And as I always say, I appreciate you, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.